Girl, I can't lie. Hey guys, so it's like 12.30, which is usually the time I start work. So yeah, I do social media. Um, I've been on social media for like six years, but I haven't been like social media influencing, like you know, with like the big brands and the managers and the PR. I've only been doing that for like about a year. So yeah, this video is going to be showing you guys all of the social media content influencer, content creator stuff that I do all day. Honestly, I feel like a fake, <laughs> like I feel like a fake influencer because like, I don't know, I feel like I'm not that big. Let's start my computer work. For my computer work, I need to send over deliverables to a brand, then I need to send an invoice to another brand, and then I need to pick out my PLT selects, and then I need to forward over some brand deals to my manager. Then I need to do my hair and makeup so I can film a talking portion of a YouTube video that's coming soon, and also film two TikToks. I also kind of want to take an Instagram picture today, but I'm looking outside and it says it's gonna start raining later. So that's not good, so I don't even think I'm gonna try it. But today, this is gonna be strictly a YouTube and a TikTok real day, which is fine. Okay, so first things first, send over deliverables. Chi Chi, what are deliverables? So basically, deliverables is basically the content that I need to submit to them. The content can be Instagram posts, Instagram stories, reels, YouTube videos, TikToks, whatever. In this case, they're just in feed Instagram posts. I need to send those over to them so they can improve it and then I post it. So that's what I need to do. to send an invoice to a brand so they can pay me and the invoice is basically a bill I need to send them a bill and I'm gonna be like yo you need to you need to pay up Then I need to respond to my manager and pick out some selects for Pretty Little Thing because they would like to give me some items. And obviously for gifted products, you have to choose what you want. So I need to send over my selects to my manager. So now you see me on the Pretty Little Thing website, just going through it, seeing what I want. And sometimes I don't know what I want. Like I'm on the site and I'm like, oh, I don't know. So then I go to Pinterest and I'm like, Hmm. What are some things that I see on Pinterest that I like that I've been pinning recently and I try to find dupes on PLT. It's usually what I do with all my gifted stuff. There's always something that I want, but sometimes I'm like, wait, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Okay, so right now I'm about to film the talking portion for a video that's about to come out in like two weeks. The video is all about how to be confident when taking Instagram pictures by yourself in public because that's kind of the key reason why a lot of people don't pursue Instagram. I have so many tips that could help, like where to find locations that are aesthetically pleasing and where no one is, what times of day to shoot, how your mindset should be while you're shooting. For this type of video, I didn't really do any research because a lot of the 
tips that I'm about to share with you guys are stuff that I've come up myself. But before I film, I always like to have um, my talking points on the notes app so that everything is clear and concise and I say everything that I want to say. Filming this part of the video is going to be really easy because all I have to do is just talk, talk, talk. Filming the second part of the video is going to be a little bit harder because I'm going to have to like take you guys along. But yeah, I'm like setting up right now. How come this is like not working? Okay. Setting up. What angle do I like the best? My hair looks nice-ish. I feel like I should change my shirt. My shirt should be more interesting. Yeah, my shirt really should be more interesting. Hold on, let me try and find a shirt. What if I wear this? I wore this on my Instagram the other day and I think it's a really beautiful blue color. This is like the type of blue that matches my undertone and my shade the best, which is the reason why I'm always wearing it. A nice pop of blue. It's actually my first time filming in this setup. Because usually my bed's like over there. Everything looked good, hair looks good, makeup looks good, shirt looks good. I'm wearing sweatshorts underneath, but you're not gonna see it on the video. Okay, time to film this. <laughs> I mean, where the fuck should I really even start? So, I would say one of the perks of being an influencer is getting lots of free stuff. A lot of people don't really understand how that works. A lot of the clothes that are sent to me are gifted clothes. I mean, the brands will send me clothes for free in hopes that I promote it on my social media. The, well, the difference between gifting and like an actual real sponsorship is that you don't get paid and there's no obligation. Like this right here is a package from Revolve. It was gifted to me. I have no obligation to post about this or talk about this, but usually if I like what's being sent to me, I will post about it, whether it's on my Instagram feed, whether it's on my Instagram story, whether it's on Reels or whether it's through a video. So let's see what's in here. So with that being said, here is a super duper quick clothing haul from Revolve Speed Round Edition. These shoes, look at that heel. This dress, this dress as well. This corset, this blouse, this dress. I've been having dreams about this dress. This dress, this top. Yeah, I have all these new clothes from Revolve now, so I'm so excited to style them with outfits that I have planned. Okay, so now that I have these clothes, I can start planning to take pictures in them. Like, what do I want to take pictures in? Where do I want to take pictures at? I really like getting sent clothes, like getting gifted clothes, because I have complete creative control to do whatever I want with the clothes. Rather with sponsorships, it's very limited. Because with sponsorships, they don't really give you that much creative freedom. But obviously you need sponsorships because sponsorships are what actually pays you. So that's why I always keep my gifting to a minimum. And also, one of the things that I need to do is set up the story for this. Brands are more likely to want to actually work with you if you do stuff like this. Because doing stuff like this, you know, the small stuff can help build a really good relationship with that brand so that one day you actually could get like a really good sponsorship with them so yeah you just want to show appreciation for all of the brands that send you nice stuff it's kind of like it's like the unspoken rule of being a social media influencer so be thankful be grateful and show them some love show them appreciation okay let's start setting up for that instagram story Okay, so now I'm gonna film a TikTok. This is the setup. You have my phone right here, then we have a mirror over here because I film using the front camera and I won't be able to see myself while I'm filming, so I use a mirror to be able to see myself to make sure that I'm, you know, like in the frame, make sure I'm centered and everything. And then I have a light here to 
make the lighting good. But right now, I'm gonna be making a TikTok. It's actually gonna be a really nice interactive TikTok that I've never done before. I'm gonna be having you guys pick what dress I wear for my New York City dinner. I think it's gonna be this dress versus this dress. So let me put this on right now. Okay, this is the dress. I think it's so cute. It's so cute. I'm picturing this with lots of gold jewelry and with, you know, heels on. But I haven't done my toes in a while, so I'm definitely gonna go ahead and do that tomorrow. But yeah, I think it's cute. The TikTok. Okay, let me film this real quick. Everything is happening so fast. I just finished the TikTok and now I quickly changed. into an outfit that I'm gonna be shooting pictures in. Right now, it's like six o'clock, so it's like prime time taking pictures out. And then my SD card ran out of storage, but here is me at the location that I planned to shoot at that day. I love this location because it matched my outfit. You know, the gate in the back matched my all black outfit. And then the tree on the side matched my feet because my feet now is very, very nice and bright and outside and colorful and greenery. And I like to have at least one green thing or like a sky, blue sky in all my pictures. So that's why this location works so well. And these were the pictures I took. I actually have a whole video on how I do this. I'll link it down below for those who haven't watched, but this is actually how the pictures turn out. I really, really like them. They're actually already on the Instagram. So go give it a like if you haven't already. Okay, so I just finished taking Instagram pictures and I am done with my work day. Finally, I feel like I've done so much. I've done emails, I've filmed a YouTube video, I filmed this video, which is also a YouTube video, I made a TikTok, and I took pictures today. I think it's a really, really good eventful day for me. I have lots to edit. The one thing about Instagram pictures and me is that I do not care where I am. I don't care if it's someone's house. I don't care if your grandpa died on this property 50 years ago. I am going to take my Instagram picture. These are the best type of days when everything goes according to plan. Um, where the fuck am I? That's the real question here. Oh, this outfit is so cute. That's the one thing I kind of low-key hate. I don't hate it, but like... I wish I went out more so I can actually wear these outfits out instead of just taking pictures in them all the time. But for me, like, I don't have a lot of places where I need to be. But my job is to keep, you know, dialing outfits and showing them on Instagram and YouTube. Like, I don't have anywhere to go. Where would I wear this to? I only have one friend this bitch, you know? It's kind of sad. <laughs> 